Random discussion show. The Rizzo to my here. I wait, wait, wait. Before we even get to that, make sure you guys go and check out the Random Radio podcast show, which is up right now at YouTube and SoundCloud, playing some of the best artists we have played on our past um, on our Random Radio podcast show. You guys know about that. Make sure you guys go check that out. Hot artists on that show. Great show. All right, Random Discussion Show, episode 31. This week, I have a special guest. This is Senior Director and Financial Advisor for Transamerica World Financial Group. This is none other than Mr. Armand McCarroll. How you feeling, Mr. McCarroll? I am doing fantastic. Matter of fact, Larry, I am doing super fantastic. That's great. That's awesome. So, Armand McCarroll... Tell, for those people who don't know who you are, tell the people who you are, man. Tell the people, who is Armand McCarroll? Why is Armand McCarroll important? Who is Armand? All right, so Armand McCarroll is a world famous. No, no, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, thank you for asking, man. I, uh, man, I, uh, you know, I, I started out in corporate America, you know, did that. And then got involved in the real estate business and uh, ran my own real estate firm for a number of years. And real estate really got me into financial planning and really educating uh, people of all ages about how money works. And uh, I, I just I just realized that uh, that was something that unfortunately our parents didn't teach us. Uh-huh. Um, they didn't teach us in school, and so that there was a big gap in really learning about how all of this stuff works. And so, and now I've been doing it now going into my 19th year. Um, uh, I've been a financial advisor and, and working with people to help get their finance together. And now I'm taking more of a, um, uh, of a development role where I'm really uh, developing new talent to come and um, learn a little bit more about the field of financial planning. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So you're developing talent. You said that prior to that, you were working in real estate. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. We have a lot of artists who listen to the show, a lot of rappers, singers, uh, producers, and that of, of that nature. What What is the big, I mean, not like many of them, you know. I'm, I'm sure many of them are going to say that they're balling out of control. They don't need any financial advice. If, if you could give a rapper... Any advice about his money? What should he be doing? What do, do you should he? What, what should he be doing with his money to help further his his career? He, he you know what? It's, it's interesting. Interesting, you asked me that, Larry, because uh, I've had the opportunity uh, to work with a couple people in my career that have been in an entertainment business, been you know in the athletic field, and, and, and what I would tell them is, you know, kind of treat your money like that was your last hit song, and you're never gonna have another one. Mm. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we think that the money is going to always be coming in and, and we ball out of control. But what I will tell you is always take a portion of your money. Don't ever spend everything that you make. Take a portion of your money and invest it, put it away, uh, be interest rate smart, be tax smart. And, uh, and if you do that, especially with a lot of these young rappers, if you do that, then, um, as you get to be my age and older, uh, you'll be fine financially. About how old would you say a, a artist should start doing stuff like this? Say there's an artist out there who's like 13. Should they start now, starting trying to inv- in, in, to save and invest some money, or should this be something that they should do when they turn 18? Well, absolutely, absolutely. Now, now certainly, you know, as a minor. Um, you have to have someone that's an adult that's over 18 do it for you. Right. But absolutely, absolutely. Uh, as soon as you start making money, um, that, let me, and let me just say this to you, Larry, that has to be a habit. See, here's the thing. We have the, the habit of spending down good, but we don't have the habit of saving. And, and what, I tell, what I tell my potential clients is this. If I can get you saving for 90 days, I can get you saving for the rest of your life. Right. So it's never, ever too young uh, to start saving. Okay. Okay. That's very, very interesting. So 
what a lot of young uh, uh, artists often say is that they don't know what to invest in. They don't know where to even start investing. If you were just starting out, what would you suggest that some of these artists invest in just in the beginning? Like, what should they start out doing with just a little money that they have? Okay, so that's a good, that's another good question. So, um, I. I counsel people based on what they are trying to accomplish. In other words, based on their goals, because in, in the world of financial planning, there's no one size fits all because your goals may be different from my goals, may be different from someone else's goals. Mm -hmm. So like say for example, if someone wanted to start investing, but they didn't have an emergency fund. So then what we would do is maybe set up a money market account and get about six months worth of your expenses in that. Then once you achieve six months to a year in that, then we would move to something else. And so, but, but long term, you know, I, I love to look at things like um, mutual funds. Uh, we do do some th things with individual stocks. Um, I do a lot of stuff with, uh, uh, with, with the indexes because uh, the indexes is one of the ways of, of, of possibly, if you do it correctly, of, of shielding yourself from taxes. Okay. So it just really depends on what the goal of the investor or the goal of the person is. Okay, that's very, very interesting. All, all you rappers out there, I hope you guys are listening. I hope you guys are taking some notes. I mean, you, you know, you know, whatever you're doing, I hope you guys are not writing raps during the episode. I hope you're listening and taking some notes. Sometimes they don't, they don't, they don't listen, to Armand. They just be out there writing raps. They don't even be listening to the show. Either way, so we have Armand McCarroll for the whole episode right now. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna discuss some. I'm not gonna. He's not gonna give all his tidbits out right now. You guys gotta listen. So we're gonna play some music from David Ryan. Maybe this song is called Give Me Your Love. Make sure you guys check out David Ryan's music everywhere. SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, Reverb Nation, old episodes of Random Radio. Everywhere that he has hot music. We will be back with more Armand McCarroll. You'll be back with us, right? Right, Mr. McCarroll? You'll be back? Absolutely. All right, we'll be back with more Mr. More Armand McCarroll. He's going to tell us some, some more financial things that we need to know, some more information that's going to help us all be financially literate. You guys, uh, go listen to some David Ryan. We'll be back. Random Radio. Seasons change quickly as they appear. Air gets crisp this time of year. The summer moves on The dreamer's love has to wait The winter's chill warms the embers Of a once burning flame Give me your love, let me in your song Give me that fire that you need me to hold Give me your love, let me in your song Thinking of the days Oh, oh. Longing for a life on the low tide floor Arcades on the boardwalk are broke, so I'm told and This is temporary, all the feelings are so bold Give me your love, let me in your song Give me that fire that you need me to hold Give me your love, let me in your song Give me your love, let me in your song Give me that fire that you need me to hold Give me your love, let me in your song What's up, 
everyone, this is Taz the Artist. I am here to talk about the Random Radio Compilation Album Part 2. Random Radio Compilation Part 2 features some of the best artists that have been featured on Random Radio. It also features my song, Lose Control. I'm about to 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 lose control. Random Radio Compilation Part 2 is up at SoundCloud and YouTube. Go listen to it now. Support your boy. You are listening to Random Radio. Yeah. Do your mixes sound flat and lifeless? Does the crack of your snares hurt every time you turn your music up? Are your 808s floppy and lacking the bass you just know they should have? If so, it's time for you to hit up Artist Music Engineering to get your next single radio ready. Artist Music is a Pensado Award nominated, full service mixing and mastering company dedicated to making your song sound just as good as the pros. It doesn't matter if your music is hip hop, pop, rock, EDM, or bluegrass. Artist Music will take your mix to the next level, allowing it to compete on an equal playing field with today's hits. So, what are you waiting for? Contact us at www soundcloud.com backslash art is music engineering and get your singles sounding like hits today Lorenzo Tomas here for the random discussion show hey are you an artist with some very strong political views are you an activist who is out there trying to clean up these streets with your words and with your actions contact us at rrpshow at gmail.com we would love to have you on the random discussion show let your opinion be heard voice your thoughts Tell the people what you think, and don't be afraid to hear new ideas. Make sure that you hit us up at rrpshow at gmail.com today and schedule yourself an interview so that we can hook you up and put you on the show. By the way, did I mention it was free? Yeah, it costs you nothing. Just hit us up, rrpshow at gmail.com. Say you want to be scheduled for the random discussion show, we'll book you today. It's that simple. Let your voice be heard, man. Hit us up, rrpshow at gmail.com. Get on the random discussion show today. Hey, random radio. If you haven't done so yet, go follow us on Twitter at RRP Show. That's at RRP Show. Twitter at RRP Show. Random Radio. That was David Ryan. Give me your love. Heard that. We are back with Mr. Armand McCarroll. Uh, Senior Director and Financial Advisor for Transamerica World Financial Group. Uh, Mr. McCarroll was was telling us some information. All you rappers and singers, you should have been listening to that first part. If you weren't, you have to wait now. You have to to wait until we give give this part of the interview before you can go back and rewind and and, and all that. So Mr. McCarroll is here. And uh, Mr. Mr. McCarroll, so there are some questions that I personally would like to know. We had a guy on here who came on recently, he talked about cryptocurrency, talked about Bitcoin. There's a lot of our listeners who are big into the whole Bitcoin craze. What do you think about Bitcoin? As a financial advisor, would you advise against or for Bitcoin, and why? Well, that's, that, that's, an, that's another good question. I can tell you personally that as a, uh, as a regulated uh, person in the financial services field, you know, I do not advise uh, Bitcoin on a professional level. Now, what people want to do, you know, outside of what I um, recommend they do, that's that's kind of on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, I don't I don't tell people, yeah, you should go out and invest in Bitcoin, or you should not. Uh, I do understand it enough to understand, you know, how it works, and and, and certainly, uh, and you and you're you're right, Larry. There are a lot of people that are making a lot of money, uh, definitely in Bitcoin. So, so I, I guess one of the things I don't get about Bitcoin is is it it just doesn't seem like it, it's going to sustain itself. And so one of my things is that I wouldn't want to invest in it because it seems like it's just too volatile. What if, if you had a person who came to you and they were like, "Well, I want to put on, I want to put a lot of money into, into Bitcoin." Why would you tell them? Uh, why, why would you go against it? Like, like I heard you say earlier that you would not say, "Yeah, go invest in Bitcoin," unless you had like maybe some lying around money or whatnot. Why would you say no to Bitcoin? Well, well, because again, um, it, it reminds me of when I mean they've changed, but it reminds me of when Facebook 
uh, first came out and they had no revenue sources. And so Bitcoin to me now, now from the days when Bitcoin first started till now, things are a little bit different. But think about it, it's pure speculation. Right. You know, it's pure speculation. So as 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 much as the demand for Bitcoin is, is gonna keep the price up. But as soon as something happens, if you have all your money in Bitcoin and something happens, guess what's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. And so and so what, what I want your listeners, Larry, to understand that when it comes to investing, there's three areas um, and we and we, we do a lot of education and teaching on this. There's three areas where um, where, where, where your money can be invested. It's either going to be in a fixed investment. Something like a uh, like a bank uh, CD or something like that, where you, they're going to give you a low interest rate. You're not going to lose any money, but you're not going to make a whole lot. Right. And then the sec- and then the second area is something called variable. Now, variable is like mutual funds, stocks, Bitcoin, real estate, where the price can go up, but guess what else it can do? Yeah, it can go down. Go down. And so and so that's why I'm a big. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of indexing okay. where your money goes up based on an index but when that index goes down your money locks in and you don't lose a dime so I like that option now granted depending upon uh, your age and, and how aggressive or uh, conservative you are will determine which one of those areas you're in There's no again there's no one size fits all right. but I certainly would not advise, you know, everybody to have all of their portfolio in something that's variable. So, so give give me an example of of indexing. What is an example of in, uh, of of indexing? Like like like, uh, give give us an example. Okay, so so you know, if, if you're ever listening to the financial stations on the news or whatever, you're getting dressed in, and you hear them talking about the S and P 500 did this, or the or the Nasdaq did this, or the Dow Jones did this. Mm-hmm. Those are what we call indexes, and and, and I'll take the S and P 500 for example. The S and P 500 is the top 500 companies and their related stocks in the world in their prospective industries. So you know, Nike as it relates to athletic wear is in the S and P. Right. Um, uh, uh, Southwest Airlines, as it relates to airlines, is in the S and P, and certainly Google, Apple, Microsoft, all those different companies are in the S and P. Now, here's what happens: every second of every minute of every day, those stocks are going up and down. Right. So there's never going to be a time when all of them are up, and there's never going to be a time when all of them are down. Mm-hmm. So it's what we call an unmanaged account. It is what it is. And so, and so, let's say, for example, if I could invest, you know, think about this. If I told you, you could invest in the S and P 500, and as long as it went up, you made money. But if the S and P went down, you wouldn't lose a dime. Wouldn't that be kind of attractive? Right, right. But how? But how does that work? Like, like how? Did, how could you get into something like that? Because according to what you said earlier, stocks are variables, right? A- a- absolutely, absolutely. So well, 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 Larry, that's that's where your listeners got to call me to get a little bit more information. Uh, <laughs> I feel you. I feel you on that. I like that. That is what I'm talking about. I feel you on that. So, so I'm gonna move and and, and that's good. I'm gonna move on to the, to the to the next question then. So, my next question would be, um, as far as people who are under the age of 25, there are a lot of listeners out there who are under the age of 25. What advice would you give to some of them who may just be coming out of college? They may not be coming out of college. Maybe some of them have saved up some money since they, you know, left high school. What would you? What advice would you give to them? Just some brief advice that you would give to them on what they should be doing with their money at the young, at the under the age of twenty-five. Well, you know what? This this is a perfect subject uh, for me to talk about, Larry, because. Uh, I have twin sons that are that are seniors in college. Okay. Uh, they'll they'll be 21 in September, uh, and I've done a lot of seminars with them and and with their groups of friends and, and, and things of this nature. And my daughter, she's a little older. My daughter is 27, so I'm I'm definitely uh, very very keen on what that group 
uh, needs and, 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 and understands because that's where my kids are. And so the first thing that I would, the first thing that I would tell a young person is, you know, seek out education about money. Okay. Um, you know, money is going to be one of those things that you're going to have to utilize for the rest of your life. And the sooner you get some education and find out about it, the better your life is going to be. So seek out education. You know, that's why I mean, we do a lot of seminars. Uh, we got a seminar for the youth coming up uh, towards the end of June. Uh, and so we do a lot of education with the youth. So I would say understand how money works. The second thing that I would say is try to create some good habits. Now, what do I mean by that? Just like I said earlier, you know, that we got the habit of spending. I mean, it's really, you know, it's not hard to, to, to buy rims and a nice sound system and, 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 and all the gym shoes and all this kind of stuff that mm-hmm. are, are really depreciating assets. Right. But, but learn how to invest. Learn how to start to make your money work for you as hard as you work for your money. I feel and, you. I feel you. Mr. Yeah, Carroll. Yeah. And, and, so, and so that would be one of the things because, you know, if you're 25, unless you, you know, you didn't, you know, got a hit song already or, or, or you didn't sold some app already and you're already a millionaire, your trajectory of income is going to be going up. Right. So... So the, so the sooner you learn these good habits, the better it's going to be for you in the long run. Okay, okay. So, so Mr. McCarroll, what for, so those who have small, so, so what, what, what would you go with? Financial, should, should somebody go see a financial advisor or should they go and try to uh, start their own business? Which one would you go with? Financial advisor or, or just go start your own business and figure it out? Which one would you go with? This should be a no-brainer. start your own business in the financial services industry mm. but, but let me let, let me digress because that's what we talked about you know I am I am actively looking for people mm-hmm. that I can train and and and, uh, and coach in this business but let me digress and let me answer your question uh, you know a, a lot of people uh, what I'm learning is they're just not cut out for entrepreneurship yeah that's true you know? You know, in the world of entrepreneurship, you eat what you kill. That's right. And and if you don't kill nothing, you don't eat. And and that's why and that's why nine to fives and jobs, you know, are so are so important because you know you can go get a check and you don't really have to work that hard. That's right. You know. And so, but but for your listeners out there that that do have an entrepreneur spirit and and, and they do want to start something on their own. Find something that you can be passionate about that you can also make money. And and it doesn't take a whole lot of money to get it started. That's right. You know, like, like, like I tell people, like in my business, you know, like now, and, I, and I've done both. I've done real estate and I've done financial planning. You know, in real estate, you know, you might spend probably about, you know, 12 to 1500 to get licensed, take the classes, and all that kind of stuff. And then you got to wait till you get a closing, you know, in order for you to start making money. Right. In the world of financial services, I can get you started up and running with about three or $400 and you'll be making money inside of, you know, 30 days or less. Nice. And, 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 and so you want to find a business where you don't have to shell out a lot of money to be profitable. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Hey, hey, all you guys should be listening to that. I, you know, I'll tell you, Miss McCarroll. You know, when when we started Random Radio, we started Random Radio with literally zero dollars. We had zero money. We started this with zero dollars, and since then, we have made. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you how much we've made. That's just too much. That's too much information for you right there. I, I can't tell you how much we've made. Put it this way: you got your money back. <laughs> we we got our we we sure did get our zero dollars back. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> So, Mr. McCarroll, if there are people out there who want to work with you, who want to know more about financial planning, they want to know more about fin- they want to know more about how they can better their businesses or they can probably be more practical with their money, how do they get in touch with you? What's your Facebook, what's your Instagram, what's your Twitter if you have one, what's your phone number, what's your email address? How do they get in touch with you, man? What they got to do? All right. So, so, you know, let, let me give you, I mean, and that's great and and, and listen, you know, anytime somebody wants to call me, my my uh, my office uh, 
phone is on 24-7. I'm not saying that I'm there 24-7, but it's always on. And so my office number is 708-957-1800. They can reach me that way. Um, they can go to my website at uh, www.wfgconnects.com forward slash Armand McCarroll. That's again, www.wfgconnects.com forward slash Armand McCarroll. That's A-R-M-A-N-D-M-C-C-A-R-R-O-L-L. Um, if you want to reach me, you can also find me on Facebook and, uh, and uh, direct message me through there as well. Okay, and we will have all of our mom McCarroll's Facebook information and the webs and the information to this website, so that you guys can go right there from our Facebook page. I know some of you are lazy; you're not gonna do what I'm telling you to do, so you're gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna type all the stuff in. So we'll have it on the Facebook page, so that you guys can go right to it. Our mom McCarroll, man, this has been some great information. I hope people mm-hmm. I hope people got something out of this this episode. Do you? Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to before I let you go, man? Anybody you want to say what's up to? Well, no, man. I, you know what? I, I'm Larry. Let me just say this, man. I, I'm so excited that that there's somebody out there that's advocating for the youth, uh, that's trying to bring knowledge on a day to day basis uh, to our youth, uh, because that's our future. And so, if, if anything, man, I want to give give a shout out to you for even having me on the show. Uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, and again, to all uh, the young people out there that's doing something. Man, listen, don't let nobody talk you out of your dreams and goals. You keep moving forward and don't quit. All right. I like it. What's good, world? This your boy Twizzle White Peace here to talk to you about the Random Radio Compilation Album Part 2. The Random Radio Compilation Album features some of the best rappers from past shows. It also features my song, The Random Symphony. Yes, it's me, T.Y. Peace, big shout out, R.I.P. You don't like me, kiss the ring. You won't fight me or sissy, you're pissy. Full of envy, full of money's what my pockets be. And I'm rocking non-stop, cop and guap, on and off the clock, see? Random Radio Compilation album is available on YouTube and SoundCloud right now. So go listen, you won't be disappointed. And guess what? You're listening to Random Radio Podcast. Lorenzo Tomas here for Royal Skate and Apparel. Royal Skate and Apparel is where I get all of my skating gear. I don't go nowhere else. And also, I go and check out their weekly showcases where they have all music of all kinds there and they let these artists perform and get down all the time. Now, if you're interested in hitting up Royal Skate and Apparel, make sure you go to 3429 Ridge Road in Lansing, Illinois. That is 3429 Ridge Road in Lansing, Illinois. Or you can always hit up GJ at 708 297 4596. That's 708 297 4596. Or you can go to their Facebook page at facebook.com backslash Royal SNA. Royal Skating and Apparel. Tell them right on Radio Sent you. Hey, Lorenzo Tomas here for Random Radio. Random Radio is looking to interview you. Yes, you. You could be like this guy. Yo, this is Dunk Williams of the 219. Or you could be like her. Hey, y'all. My name is Sherry Rose. Yeah. All you got to do is email us at rrpshow at gmail.com and we'll set you up. It's that simple. And it's free. Did we mention that? Did we mention it was free? I just mentioned it, right? It's free. It's free. It'll cost you nothing. All you got to do is send us an email to rrpshow at gmail.com today. Wait, there's more. Also, when we conduct the interview, you can send us one of your tracks and we'll play one of your songs during the interview. Yeah, it's just that simple. All of this for free. Email us at rrpshow at gmail.com. Sign up for your free interview today. What you got to lose? Hit us up. Right on radio. We'll talk to you soon, man. If you haven't done it yet, go like us on Facebook. That's right. Facebook.com slash RRP show. Facebook.com slash RRP show. Facebook.com slash RRP show. Make sure you guys check out Armand McCarroll's financial 
uh, advising information all over our Facebook page. We'll make sure that you guys get all that so that you can holler at our mind and get some information. All right. I'm going to see you guys next Wednesday. We'll have a brand new episode of the Random Discussion Show. Make sure you guys go check out the Random Radio Podcast Show up right now on YouTube and SoundCloud. I'll see you guys next week. Random Radio, y'all. Yeah, you are listening to Random Radio.